Have you ever heard of the law of attraction or the power of the mind or have heard or maybe even said that mindset's everything, okay? In this video, we're gonna break through that. We're gonna talk about a deeper concept and philosophy that will help you and your clients create more results in a short period of time. Stay tuned. So about 12 years ago, I uh, was a personal trainer and in my mind I had made the decision like, hey, no one's really going to take me seriously and no one's going to hire me if I don't look the part, which is a third of the way true, right? And so I got into bodybuilding, right? I obsessed about the way I looked, I obsessed um, you know, about the food I was eating and as I prepared more and more for this contest, okay, I got deeper and probably more and more obsessed with how I looked, okay? And after the contest, um, well, during the contest, I actually took third, right? But for me, in growing up, I'm super competitive. Being third was, dude, you're like, you're the second loser, right? Second is the first loser third, you're the second loser. And so even though I was excited that I placed and got a trophy, okay, I still deep down side was like, ah, oh, man, I'm, you know, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough yet. And in my mind, what I had to have in order to be good enough or to feel confident or to feel good about who I was, I had to have less body fat. I had to have more muscle. And I did this with all areas of my life, okay? I'm not successful until I make X amount of money, okay? I always ask people, how much money do you have to have in order to be successful, okay? And they always create this number of what they have to have in order to be successful. And everyone's like, a million, half million, 10 million, right? And I was doing this with all aspects in my life. If I don't have a girlfriend, then I'm not attractive or I'm not loved, if I don't have lots of friends, then I'm not cool, right? So I'd created this entire world of I have to have in order to do. I have to have in order to be. You ever do that? Okay, so I remember one night, um, actually it wasn't one night, it was after five times doing this. I found myself doing something um, in the back of my house that I said I would never do, something that I understood, something that um, I uh, just thought I would never do. Have you ever found yourself in a position doing something that you said you'd never do? Okay, I think we've all been guilty of that, right? And I was in the back of the yard, sticking my finger down my throat, throwing up Gatorade because Gatorade was too much calories. Because I was so obsessed with the way I looked and everything, and it was a mechanism to control that. And I remember walking in into my little like bathroom, like literally no bigger than like, you know, like this, like three by four feet, right? And I just remember looking into the mirror for the first time in like, I can't remember how long before I'd avoid the mirror. I was afraid to look at myself. I was afraid to look at myself in the eyes because every time I did, I started to judge myself. I started to be mean to myself, okay, when I do that. And I actually looked in my eyes for the first time and I was like, what the fuck are you doing, Travis? Okay. And it was a low point. And a low point is when your own behavior becomes even unacceptable to yourself. Okay. And it was a low point for me. And I had to decide, am I really going to wait to have to have something, okay, in order to be something? Okay, because my entire life was based around having to have something in the outside world. And I feel like that's what mo how most people operate. I'm not cool unless I have the car. Okay, I have to get the nice clothes. But what ends up happening is we start to build this external world that is fake. Okay, the clothes aren't being worn. They're be the, cl you're, the clothes are wearing you. Okay, you're not driving the car, the car is driving you, right? Rather than 
I'm wearing what I'm wearing as a reflection of who I believe I am, rather than the car is a symbol, okay, and a reflection of the value I see of myself, okay? And when I started to work, starting at the top rather than from the bottom, I started to get more results, okay? And so how most people operate is they're like, I have to have something in order to be something. But even then, sometimes people go, well, I have to have it and then I'll do it. I have to, I have, to have the nice videos, okay, the nice camera set, then I'll do videos, right? I have to have a cool stage and then I'll start doing presentations. I have to have a cool logo or a cool business website and then I'll start promoting my products, right? But in one moment in time, Okay, we give ourselves permission to finally believe it, okay? And so whatever we believe, okay, we do. Whatever we do, we have, okay? And that's the formula for success, okay, is getting your clients to work this way, okay, not this way. It's like climbing upstream, right? Have you ever tried to climb upstream it's so much harder, right? Rather than going with the river, okay, we fight the natural flow of transformation by saying, I have to have something and then I'll do it and then I'll believe it, okay? I, have you ever heard fake it till you make it? I fucking hate that. The worst thing other, don't fake it, okay? Just believe it, find it, see it, okay? So, Let's go a little bit deeper in this concept, okay? So B is essentially our mind. Do is our body. Have is more of the soul, okay? B is what we think. Body is how we act. Have is the results, okay? B is your identity. Who do you believe you are? Okay, at your core. Who do you believe you are? Okay, do, okay, is your behaviors. Okay, you could always tell what someone's behaviors are. Okay, in their relationships, in their health, in their business, what's your behaviors? And based upon your behaviors, okay, you're gonna have experiences. Okay, if we're breaking this down from like a business standpoint, okay, it would be branding, marketing, okay, and influence, which is your sales and your service. Okay, and when people struggle with marketing, it's usually because they're branding and a lot of people focus on, well, the sales, the service, and they work their way backwards. Okay, so all of these things need to be in alignment. They need to be pointing to the same direction Okay, towards that goal. Okay, and so when you're working with clients, all right, you need to look at these different things. Okay, is their identity, who they believe they are in alignment? Is their actions and behaviors? Okay, what are their experiences? What are their results? How are they defining their experience and results? Okay, and I know some of you like to really dive into the soul aspect or the spirit, spiritual aspect, and I think that's great. All right, so I don't know what your exact philosophy is, but this is a formula that I've evolved, that I've taken and have put in all our programs. Okay, when people come to you, they're most likely go, I want to have this, tell me what to do. And then you tell them to do it, and they don't do it, they usually revert back to the same old behaviors, the same old patterns based upon their experiences. Okay, and then you go, no, that's not what you need to do. You need to go to the gym. You need to start calling more people. You need to start recruiting, right? You try to get them to revert back to new behaviors and they don't because they're already set on certain patterns that they're used to based upon their experiences and their results. Okay, so really we want to start back here. What's our mindset? What are we thinking? What's the stories going through our head? What's our identity? And when I started to really operate here and go, who is Travis Brady at his core? 
okay? Not what the bank account says, not what my car says, not what my body says. Who is Travis Brady? And I started to peel back the layers of the onion and I started to look at who is Travis Brady on the inside and more importantly, who is Travis going to be? What is he going to choose? Right? And when I started to change my mind, okay, it was easier to commit to the actions. Okay? But also, when I committed to the actions and the behaviors, it became easier to believe. Right? I meet a lot of people, I want to be a speaker. Well, how often do you speak? Well, not that often. Well, how are you supposed to really believe it? Right? So when we don't do the actions to support the beliefs, okay, the belief drops. And then we continually don't do the actions and behaviors. And then it drops, and it drops, and it drops, and it gets to the point where it's on the floor, and then we start stepping on it along with everyone else. And then we start to do something really fascinating. We start to convince ourselves that we didn't even want it in the first place. When it's a lie, we're lying to ourselves when in fact we did, okay? So be, do, have, mind, body, soul. What you think is how you act, act as a result. What you believe about yourself will determine the behaviors that you embody and based upon those behaviors, you're gonna do the experience, you're gonna experience the things that you want. So this is a simple formula all right, that I've taken and I applied to every single program, okay? I'm not gonna start with what to do, all right? I'm gonna start with what do we need to believe? What identity do we need to take on? When we take on the identity and the right thoughts, we start automatically doing the right things, okay? The body powers the mind, the mind powers the body, so it's not just thinking, okay? That's the biggest myth out there, that's the biggest bunch of bullshit, it's not just Knowledge, information. Knowledge is potential power. What you do with it is everything. Okay? Everything starts in the mind. That is true. However, the body has more influence than the mind does. Okay? And that might be a new concept for you. Okay? In my next video, I'm going to talk about why, from an anatomy and physiology standpoint, it is true. Okay? So stay tuned in the next video. Okay? Uh, Strengthen Your World is an amazing two-day event. We dive really deep into this, and it's by far our best event that we have. If you haven't came to that event, I strongly, strongly urge you to do it, okay? Uh, you should be receiving an email that will give you a discount code in order to come to that event. Bring a friend, okay? Bring one of your team members. I know if you come to this event, you're going to leave with your soul, mind, body on fire, okay? We've been doing this for five years now. And um, we bring in the best speakers, leaders, and we have the most amazing experiences during it all. So check that out. It's strengthenyourworld.com. Okay, hopefully you're going through the certification book at the same time as you're going through these videos. All right, check the next video out. We're going to go deeper on the mind and body. Okay, and we're going to talk about certain parts of the brain that are super important for you to know. Okay, be inspired. Be next gen. The world needs you. Okay, the world does. And those who believe it, do it. Those who do it, experience it. Okay? The world needs you. All right? Good talk, and we'll talk soon.